Today, we're trying out Lander's new plugin called Chromatic, which helps you make sample based beats according to your mood. The link's in the description box. Let's just check it out. Again, the link's in the description box. This is Lander Chromatic in the flesh. One thing I do want to point out is you're not forced into going into a subscription based service. You can use it for free as long as you want because they have free sets. However, if you want to pay $9.99 a month or $89 a year, you could do that and you get unlimited sets as long as they are dropping stuff on there. So that is a huge advantage over Output Arcade and I will have a comparison video down the line. So what I want to do is play this track. I like the quality of the sample. It actually sounds like a sample, so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So let's go ahead and play the other track. Here is the second track. This is more of a boom bap type track. I wanna kinda of give you different flavors. As you can see, I'm still using uh, sounds from Pat. And I mean, to be honest, there's some bomb piano loops in here. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in love with pianos, guys. Come on, man. I can't play the keys my damn self. And that's kind of the biggest thing about Chromatic is, yeah, you get access to some pretty good samples. So now let's talk about the functionality of Chromatic and what you can do and some pretty good strategies. So what I'm going to do here is just go into my C of VST plugins and pull up Lander's Chromatic yet again. So let's go ahead and grab that. And you can see the UI in the flesh here. Uh, what I'm going to do here is make a minor adjustment. Boom. And we'll talk more about it. So here it is. So the UI in itself is pretty simple and sweet. Uh, you can select sets. Uh, so if I wanted to go to Lunar Trip or recent sets that I've used, uh, well, I can do that. And that's the brilliance of this. Uh, I can go into browse and, you know, you can go by moods here. You can go by sets. Uh, these are the other ways that you can browse so you can see different sounds. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go into Chill Vibes. That was the thing that I like doing yesterday. Uh, you see that you're met with a UI where you can download all of the sounds. Uh, you can go and you can go to free and there you can see all the stuff that's available to you. Of course, I have a expanded version of it so you can see, you know, the full scope of Chromatic and you can preview sounds too as well. So let me go ahead and turn this down and let's hear some stuff. This guy's my favorite, man. I'm sorry. I just love these pianos. Dude is mad talented. All right, one more. Mm. 
So let's say, you know, you like that. Well, guess what? Just go over here, hit the download button, and it will download to your computer, and then you hit load. What I want to show you is this right here. Chromatic has uh, two different ways that you can play and, manip and manipulate sounds. Uh, the first one is your white keys. So basically, if I was to go and mess with the white keys here, I would just press C2. And you can hear a little bit of that. Let's get a little bit more volume. So let's continue that process. So you can see the white keys on my keyboard. And of course, if you mess with the BPM, it time stretches. And then you have your black keys, which do a plethora of things. So let's go ahead and explore that. Let's try this one right here with the tape sign. So that's tape stop. This is reverse. Repeaters. And then you have two times, which plays the stuff faster. Then you have divided by two. And that is two times slower. And let's see what plus one So those are octaves. Then let's explore this arrow key right here, this cursor, which ultimately chops stuff up. And you can mess with effects too. You have an effects section, lo-fi, filters. Filters sound pretty good. Reverb. Delay is actually pretty awesome. And then you have FX Mix. So you can go all the way to the right, all the way to the left, and it takes it away. And of course you have output. No, I'm not talking about that output, guys. Relax. So let's go ahead and lay down something real quick so you can see another feature, which is all the way at the top right of the UI, and that is scales. Perhaps I don't want to do a C major, maybe I want it to be a C minor or, or whatnot. And you can clearly hear that it has switched to a C minor. So what I'm going to do is add a VST plugin. I'm just going to pick one up at random and then lock my scale of my keyboard to C minor. All right, so what you see me doing right now is I'm locking stuff to a scale. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick out a C and then I'll go to a minor in the scale. So C minor is locked in. And let's go. And there you have it. You can see uh, if you have the right tools, you can kind of go about your business with your production with no hesitation. Now let's use some chords and layer what I got inside of Lander Chromatic. Now for the big test, we're gonna see if we can pull up two instances of Lander Chromatic and layer two sample loops or whatnot. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clone this one. And we're gonna see if we can select something else. I'm gonna go over here, go into the browser here. Boom. Let's select something I already have downloaded and set that to C minor. 
and see if it works. All right, so I have this one pulled up and then this lander. So let, let me go ahead and select that and let's see if we can just get some new vibes going. So that's actually good news for everybody because now we know that you can open up two instances of chromatic and layer other sets together as long as you have it locked into a specific scale. So tell me how you feel about this video. I definitely wanna hear from you guys in the comments section. Are you willing to check out chromatic? Well, I checked it out. And one thing I messed up during my live stream, I didn't know this until Lander confirmed it for me. Well, it is free, 100%. You can get the free sets, but if you pay the $9.99 a month or the $89 a year, you have unlimited access. So that's kind of a highlight of this. And if you are a sample-based producer or somebody that is looking for inspiration, well, here it is. It's a pretty decent price. It's cheaper than this competition. And speaking of which, a lot of you guys have already pointed out that this is much like Output Arcade. And as far as I know from my research, Output Arcade costs a little bit more and you do get a 30 day free trial. However, I'll leave that for another video, more so on Chromatic. So all the stuff that I explored on it, I thought it was pretty decent for what it is. Do I? Give this the stamp of approval. Well, I'm gonna rest on 90%. I think it's a pretty good deal.